Hi everyone, my name is Anita Foster and I'm the Library and Media Specialist at Autry Middle School and I just wanted to show you real quick how to log into Cobb Digital Library at home. Now at school it's really easy because we have on our desktop a link to go straight to Cobb Digital Library. You click on it and you are automatically logged in. But at home you do, do need to know your login. So I'm just going to click on because most of you at my school at least when I tell you to go to Cobb Digital Library, even though there's a, an icon on your desktop, you still go to Google and type in Cobb Digital Library, and it brings up this link right here to uh, Cobb Digital Library, Cobb County School District. So I'm going to click there, and I'm going to click on this um, logo right here. A lot of people don't realize, but that's how you get into it, is you click on that logo. So I'm going to click on that logo and it's going to ask you to log in. Guys, this is the same login that you use for your Office 365. So it's your first name, that last name. If there's any numbers there, you need to put the numbers there at students.cobk12.org. Now, teachers, it is also your email address. So you're gonna put that in. Your password is the same password that you use to log into the computers. So it's different by school what your password is set to be and what they tell you to set it to be. And sometimes students set it to be their own thing. So that's okay, but if you know the password to log into the computers at school, this is the same password for there. Once you get into Cobb Digital Library, it is automatically going to bring you to the, your databases. So I'm going to just scroll down and show you some that we have at Autry. Um, Adobe Spark, your teachers may ask you to do uh, a flyer or a graphic or a presentation or a video. You can use Adobe Spark and that's where you'll find it right there. Uh, Bibliognasium, if you need to log your reading, you can do that there. Uh, we have a lot of Gale in context resources, so biographies, Brain Pop, Britannica Image Quest, all of these resources are still available to you at home. So if you have something to do for um, Digital Library of Georgia, you can do that. Or if you need to watch a video in Discovery Streaming, you can do that. So all of the resources that you have at school are still, still available to you when you're at home and you log in. Okay? And then if you get down here, you can say load more and we have even more resources for you. So there's News ELA, there's Noodle Tools. All of these resources are available to you at home. Okay, I also want to show you uh, one other thing. I'm going to go all the way back up to the top really quick so I don't take a lot of your time. And I want to show you that one of the ways that you can get to some of our ebooks. Um, now, for Autry, we have two different places that you get ebooks. One of them can be here through, um, through uh, Mac and, and our follow-up ebooks are here as well. But we also now have Sora, and I'm going to be putting a, a video that another librarian made um, for a resource there for how to use Sora. But if you click on ebooks, we have a lot of ebooks in here um, that you can go through and you can read some, okay? so. Um, Feel free to go in and look at these ebooks if you need something to read and um, have some fun. And you can even log those in our 20 book in 2020 challenge. So if you uh, need any help, you can always email your librarian. They're going to be there to help you and support you and answer any questions that you have for you. And um, if you get to this page, but you're like, oh, how do I get back? It's just click on databases and you're right back where you started. So I hope you enjoy using um, Cobb Digital Library in your learning.